welcome to another episode of Insects in the City. I'm Sarah Layton, and today we're wondering, when it comes to bed bugs, how can I protect myself as a home health aide? Now this video, while it is aimed at home health aides that are going from unit to unit or home to home and maybe in more high risk situations, this can also be good for anybody in a high risk office situation, anybody, maybe a social worker that goes from, you know, residence to residence. This can be applicable in a lot of places. So I hope you get a lot of information from this. Really simple. So imagine that I am a home health aide and I am going into my client's home to, you know, help them with their things. I maybe have a jacket, probably have a bag with me, especially if I have medical supplies or devices that I need to bring in. What I suggest doing is um, buying a clear tote like this, placing this right at the entryway or right at the front door so it's the first place that you put your stuff when you walk into your client's home. Now this might seem really simple, and it is. It's the same concept as our bed bug interception devices. This plastic is just a little bit too slippery for those bed bugs to crawl up. So if you are going into a home that you think is infested, you suspect that it's infested, you know it's infested, you put your stuff here and you work out of your bag instead of leaving it on say an infested couch or kitchen furniture, now you're grabbing everything you need from your tote that's probably relatively safe. If there are bed bugs crawling around in that home, um, when they get to this tote, they can't crawl up the sides. And if for some reason, you know, you have bed bugs, if you, maybe you caught them on transportation or in an old, a different client's home and you have something on your bag, if it falls off your bag when you place it into this tote, now it's also not going to infest your new client's home. So this works both ways, protecting yourself and also protecting your clients. Um, what we do always suggest if you are in high risk situations a lot, if you're a home health aide, social worker that is maybe sitting on furniture, you suspect your clients or patients have bed bugs, it's always a good idea when you get home to also wash your belongings, your washable belongings, your, your clothes, your jackets uh, on the highest heat setting possible. So that way if you did sit on a couch and maybe got a bed bug in one of your pockets or a pleat of your pants, you will be able to kill it by you know, washing or drying on the highest heat setting allowable by the fabric that it is. Um, I hope that this tip was good for you guys. These totes are, you know, simple concept, but pretty inexpensive and can save you a lot of hardship down the road. So if you have any more tips or tricks for me, go ahead and send me an email at sarah.layton at bedbugcentral.com. I look forward to hearing from you. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions for more videos, also shoot those my way. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more every day in the life at Insects in the City. And I look forward to seeing you next time.